Hey Dutch crew, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be making Tika pulled pork on the Traeger Ranger. Come on, let's cook. We've got our pork shoulder in a foil tray and we're going to use in Dutch's Tika spice blend. I'll put a link up above so you can watch the video on how to make this and also I'll put the ingredients down below. We're not going to hold back with the covering on this uh, pork shoulder. It's a big lump of meat and we need to get some taste into it. So we're going to keep turning, make sure we've covered all of this. The ends as well. So this is ready. All we've got to do now is to get this onto the Traeger Ranger. We've brought the Traeger Ranger up to temperature, which is 120 degrees C. That's 250F. We're using some hickory pellets and we're just going to get this pork shoulder on. Make sure it's sat nice in the middle of the rack. As you can see from here, the thick part is towards the back of the grill because that's the warmest. We're going to insert our temperature probe in. And as always, we're just going to use our little paper clip here, clip it to the bars so the wire runs out through this little indentation. Lid shut and we'll get cooking. Time to make our tikka sauce. Just got a cast iron pan on our electric ring here. To that we're going to add three tablespoons of butter or you can use ghee. We're just going to melt this down. Once it's melted we're going to add one large onion that's been finely chopped. And what we want to do with this is just saute off until it goes translucent and cooked. We don't want any colour on it. We don't want a kind of a bitter taste from the onions. So after about five minutes, this is what we're looking for. Nice, soft, translucent onions. Into that, we're gonna add our whole spices now. So we're gonna go in with one cinnamon stick, one and a half teaspoons of cumin seeds, one and a half teaspoons of mustard seeds, and we've got four cardamom pods that have just been lightly crushed. cut these uh, whole spices off for a couple of minutes so the spices have been cooked off it's time to add some more ingredients we've got half a teaspoon of smoked paprika half a teaspoon of ground fenugreek One tablespoon of malt vinegar. One tablespoon of tomato puree. What we want to do now is mix these in. We want to mix this tomato puree in. Give it a couple of minutes cooking so we get that rawness out of the tomato. Once we've done that, we're going to add 680 ml. That's approximately two cups of tomato passata. Give that a good mix in as well. And now we want to gently simmer this for about 30 to 35 minutes. After that, we're going to find this cinnamon stick, dig it out, and that's done its job. Next, we've got some natural yoghurt, about 100 mils. Mix that in. And we're looking for this nice orangey colour that we all associate with chicken tikka masala. We're approximately two hours now into this cook. Our pork is at 38 degrees C, that's under degrees F, so we're going to give it a spritz. This is with equal parts of apple cider vinegar and apple juice. Lid shut and we're going to go for another two hours. So after another two hours we're at 62 degrees C, that's 143 F, and we're going to go in again and give it another spritz. You can see now, it's really taking on some colour. Lid shut, and we're going to go for another two hours. At this point, it's been three hours. We've been through the stall. It's 70 degrees C, that's 158F. Going to remove the probe, and look at the juice running out of that. We're going to get this off the grill. We're going to get into a foil tray again. I like using foil trays rather than wrapping because I find that you get leaks. So 
we're going to add some apple juice. And like I say, I like to use foil trays because I find that the foil will leak the juice out. We're going to insert our probe back into this pork shoulder and then we're going to wrap it with foil. And to make sure we seal properly, I'm going to put two layers of foil on. If you'd like to come a Dutch crew member, it's free. Just click that subscription button below. So now this is back in, lid shut, and we're going for the finish line. We've hit the finishing line, 96 degrees C, 205 degrees F. I'm calling this cooked. Just going to unwrap it and have a look what we've got. What I'm going to do is wrap it back up, get it off the grill and let it rest for at least an hour. This has been resting now for one hour. Look at the colour of that. Nice deep mahogany type colour. And all I'm going to do now is just drain these juices off. I will keep these in case we need to add them back at a later stage. Move this out of the way. Then we're going to get in with our bare claws and rip it apart. It's our pulled pork. Now we're going to add our tikka sauce. Use the bear claws again, give it a good mix in. That's it, we're ready to serve. So this is Dutch's Tika pulled pork. So it's time for a bit of a taste test. So this is Dutch's Tika pulled pork. That Tika sauce is subtle. You can taste it, but it's not overpowering for this pork. Come back for another bite. The card here on the left was chosen especially for you.